moviegoers. My name is Justin, and I love review movies. And the movie I'm going to review is Midway. Yes, I'm a little late on this. I've been busy lately. But um, <clears throat> since I've seen this film, it's not getting good reviews. It's not getting a buzz. It's bombing the box office, as you heard. Now, um, this director has not the best reputation making great films. There's some films I like. The White House Down. Yeah, I'm a few people actually like that one. Um, Independence Day with Surgeons. Yeah, that was a mess. Um, yeah, that was average. You know, yeah, let's, let's talk about that film. And he makes a lot of disaster films. You know, the Day After Tomorrow and um, 2012. He's very good with those. And Stargate was one of his best ones he's done. Um Independence Day, of course, that was a good, fun, action, nice movie with Will Smith. <clears throat> so how do you do this film? I tell you, though, I give this director this. He knows how to make action scenes. He does that really well. And um, unfortunately, I did not care about the characters. I really didn't. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you that. But the characters were bland. The movie can switch around. I guess they're trying to be realistic. <coughs> what happened in Midway? Because you know what happens at the Pearl Harbor. The Americans trying to fight the Japanese up Midway. So they want to attack, uh, attack the Pacific, you know, the California and uh, that territory. And um, in the movie trying to show it was a long, big battle. And you see this. They were getting tired. You see the exhaustion. You see they want to go home. They will first. You, I like how they did that. They said, "Oh, we're pumped. We're ready to fight." And you see the fight goes on and on and on. You see they're getting tired, exhausted. You see them die. You see the accidents. It, I'm glad they shown that. Um, but the pacing was horrible of this film. The the characters were bland. This is a shame too, because this movie was well cast. One of the great actors of this of this movie, but unfortunately, uh, the movie didn't. The script was pretty bad. Um, but like I said, the action scenes, when the when the action starts, is great. The dog fights were great. I mean, you, you want to see some good plain action in World War II? This is the movie to see. But I hear yeah, that I can't really recommend this. Um, like I said, the pacing was horrible. The acting was okay. I didn't care about the characters. If they live or die, I wish uh, they did that better. Because when they died, I didn't care that their deaths. Like, the, what's that movie? Silver Pride Ryan and Hacksaw Ridge? Even though I didn't know the, the, the army, I actually care about the, they actually make it out of there. But this one, not so much. Um, this is an average war movie, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I can recommend it, maybe. Maybe Matinee, the cheapest price. I can see why this mom bombed. But... It's like I said, it's okay. Um, I mean, I don't know if I can recommend it or not. I mean, wait for a DVD or you had nothing else to do or a free ticket, then watch it. But either that is, I give it a C minus. But um, say you comment in the comments section, say what's your favorite war movie or what you think about this review, and please subscribe, ring the bell if you like this review, and I'll see you in the next movie review.